Hi, yo. That's Nick. He's my brother. That's Tristan. He's my brother-in-law. Hello. We're doing a forge with coal. Like pioneers or some shit. I don't know. 19th century style. Oh, blowtorch. Then I throw in the mattress. The whole thing. <laughs> now we're getting this shit started. You just leaving the blowtorch on there? Yep. All right. Now we're trying to get the wood fire started, and then the wood fire heats up the coal fire. All right, let's get this. Let's get this flippy dude. That is a lovely shade of smoke. So, okay, so the shade thing of the fire, this is what I'm talking about where like my this coal is really fun to work with because you can actually shape it into like the, the shape of the fire you want. And your shape of your fire is different depending on what you're working with concentrates the heat in the center. So you see how the jet's coming out of the side? Yeah, that's what you want. Alright. So, didn't you say we were going to be working on this side though? Yeah. We'll just have to use it on this side till this fire collapses and then we can make the opening on that side. Okay. So you got a good visual on this side. So, you guys can kind of, it's ready to roll if you guys want to work on this. Try to stay away from the off gassing. Where'd those tongs go? Thank you. So, this is actually an old masonry chisel. The steel in these are really nice, so they make good punches and tools for blacksmithing. If you really work the tip,
tell me more about what you mean by shaping. Um, it's harder to explain. It's easier to like show. Let me get it going. See how it looks like a cave? Mm -hmm. So fires have different zones of heat in them, depending on where like the level of oxygen is getting, you know, where, how the level of oxygen is, how it's getting burned, it determines how hot. Um, since I haven't forged in a while, I don't remember the name of them, but the idea is you want to shoot for the middle zone above the grate where the air is coming in. Um, that's going to be your hottest, almost your hottest flame. Right. The middling level of oxygen, so you're not going to get too much. Um, I mean, this stuff oxidizes right away because it's so hot, um, and that really fucks with your fucks with your work a lot. Um, you'll see when we get stuff heated up more. But uh, yeah, so it's, you really can't see it, but yeah, I mean, this fire is not completely going yet either, so. Nick, you want to dig around in there and find that uh, jet I put in? It's in here somewhere. So you can get out of it and get it off. It's roughly the same spot. You probably can come from the other end. I think it's to your left. Okay, yeah, the tip's finally getting hot. Perfect. Okay, now that it's not spitting shit at us. So like I said, here if you want to zoom in actually, this is a masonry bit for um, chiseling stone. If you look really closely you can see I barely put a dent in it even at a red heat. Um, it just means that this is really high carbon steel um, It's going to be really difficult to work with. But the idea is I'm going to shape this into a bit um, that I can use. And the more carbon, the amount of carbon affects what? The stiffer it is. The more so, carbon, the stiffer it is, but the less flexible? Le it's, it's tougher. So it's harder to work with, meaning that it'll hold an edge for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. So that's like your tool steel. You want to use that stuff for everything from blades um, to chisel tips to everything. Every Everything that needs to hold up under duress. And you can find that steel in a lot of places. Um, I mean, some people buy stock, but really you can get it pretty affordably just at the thrift store um, or, you know, any like used hardware stuff. So this is a masonry bit, leaf springs off of old trucks in particular, truck axles, um, anything like that's going to be really hard. I have some friends that make swords out of truck axles, but it mm. takes a couple of days to work <laughs> it into a shape that's Oops. actually workable because they're just so, so hard. If you want to stick uh, your railroad tie in there. The cool thing about bituminous too is when you burn it, when you're burning these kinds of coals, 
you're trying to get down to pure carbon. That's the idea. I mean, that's what heats up in a wood fire too, is the, the carbon skeleton of what's left after you burn the wood. Um, that's what you see this off gassing. Again, I'm sure like whoever's watching who actually does metal work, this stuff is really not the best. Um, but we don't have a few hoods, so. Um, anyway, when that stuff off gasses, it exudes a little tar, which makes this stuff stick together, which is why by tuminous coal you can shape the fire, like I said, into this cave-like structure to get a better approximation of heat in the area you want it. They didn't have blow torches in the 19th century. Well, not the early 19th century at least. So this is the closest equivalent to get a spot heat on mm -hmm. something. maintaining a fire it's a constant battle of circulating new stuff on top as the old stuff is burning down in the bottom so it's actually a lot of work to get to where um, you can actually use something this stuff is the byproduct of burning coal this is called clinker this is the impurities that don't burn out and what's left over after all the carbons burned out of it With more heat, it, it's flattening a little nicer, which is cool. So. Yeah, you're good. Can I pull it up? Yeah. There's that. Don't use that giant hammer. The good hammer. Here it is. This is the handiest, dandiest little tool ever. It's a little cross peen. Just like perfect. Nick, you need to goggle. Yeah. You don't have any eye protection. Probably good for a heat now. Okay. Here, that's the goggles. Oh, they're awesome.
like that. It's fun. Yeah. Smash. Smash metal, make metal move. Upwind of the off gassing. At the campground. Cooperstown Beaver Valley Cabins and Camp Tech. Family owned and operated. Getting at an angle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm getting there. I have to figure out how to use these things. Almost. There it goes.
Stick her back in. That's Smack some metal. Huh? You want to smack some metal? Why are you quenching it? Because I don't want to work on it anymore. Why do you need to quench it to not work on it anymore? Because I don't want to trip over it. What? I don't want to trip over it when it's super hot. I don't want to just leave it in the fire and I don't want to. Okay, leave so it you're just ground. cooling it off to put it away? Yep. Okay. You're not tempering or anything? No, not today. Cool. When I come back. I just have to cut a couple more pieces of this stock and then work with that. Metal. All right, I'm gonna possibly take a break. Oops, wrong way. All right, we're taking a break because we'll wait for Tristan to come back. And then I'll do another one. We'll make some door handles. And that'll be fun while Nick clanks away at whatever he's doing, making a 
ninja sword or something. Alright, we'll see you in a bit.